Hi guys, welcome back to the second part of developing Detroit. Um, I'm just going to obviously go over the checklist from last time here, in case anyone, this is their first time, see how far we got in the first episode. But um, yeah, the main thing this episode is I'm going to get into our first actual game. And I did a few solo challenges and we got the uh, the veteran pack here. But my pack like this year hasn't been great. I mean, I, I pulled the team of the year to leave on, on my main account, but besides that, I've literally got nothing so um let's see what we get in here and the first player we get is actually a lines player which is pretty good for us because i mean it, it ticks one of the points off the checklist but uh that's pretty much all we end up getting in this pack so you'll probably you'll see me just listing up the players trying to build some profit to build towards more players in the series but um let me know your guys thoughts on the series below like the idea of the series because i haven't seen many people out there doing a series similar to this so um yeah if you like the comment give it a like like i said comment down below on things potentially you think i could improve ways i could do things better on the videos and um subscribe for more content because i'm going to be trying to bring this series out daily hopefully but uh yeah you can see me getting the players here i don't get anything actually beneficial to me but it's a free pack so you can't complain but um yeah, you can see me here picking up a few more players because i want to try and keep the series moving at quite a fast pace early on because obviously bronze players are really cheap and you can pick up one two maybe even three after playing one game so i mean yeah the pace is gonna stay pretty quick early on i think but you know towards the end it will slow down as we're coming towards sort of the the higher end elites i mean again even even the elites like uh calvin johnson who unfortunately retired today but um yeah, even getting towards those elites, it's going to take a little bit longer to get coins because they're about, I think he's about 40,000, but they're obviously ones higher up that cost lows. So, um, yeah, we'll see how we do when we get to that point. But we're picking up uh, bronzes here, all the rel relatively cheap ones. I mean, there are some that are a lot more expensive than they should be. I mean, uh, just check in whether we actually got Proctor because I did forget at this point, but, you know, I did get him, so I'm not going to buy him again. But, um so I'm going to pick up uh, right here, I think. Do I pick up right? Who? Uh, I think it was right. Let me just wait for the uh, the video to get there. Yeah, we pick up right here, who actually ends up being a, a bit of a gem. Um, to be to be honest, all the players I've picked up so far have done pretty well. Besides the corners, I mean the corners aren't great, but they're, they, you know, they're, they're not that quick. They're not that good at catching either. So, uh, I mean, I, I don't expect too much from them. But to be honest, I'm, I'm really enjoying playing with this team so far because it's, it's nice to use players that I haven't used since right at the start of the year because on my main account, I think I have a 90 overall team. So um, it's an entirely different play style on, on this one because I can't rely on like the big deep ball to the incredible receiver or relying on the CPU to... Um, sort of defend well for me. I have to do a lot more manually on this, which is, is, is a challenge. I have to admit it's a challenge, but it's, it's definitely a fun challenge. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely enjoying it so far. But um, yeah, I'm just putting in the people into the team here. Actually got got an upgrade on the fullback there with Burton, who uh, who does pretty well in, uh, in in the upcoming game for us. Uh, I'm not gonna try not not gonna give too much away for that game, but uh, it was it's definitely a good game. So you should stick around for that one. But uh, yeah, it's just. It's, I'm going to try and include sort of a checklist and a team overall in each episode so you guys can, you know, keep up to date with things and see where we are in the series and how we're progressing. But uh, yeah, we're going to get into the first online game of the series now with, I don't know if we've actually upgraded the team from sort of the base team, but uh, it's a lot more Lions oriented. So I think we have about 14 Lions players now, which is is roughly where I wanted to get at, sort of half the team Lion players, before we actually got into a game. Which uh, which I think sort of means we're, we're somewhat of a, a Lions team now, which is, is good. Because uh, now we can actually, you know, say we're taking a Lions team online. But I'll, um, oh yeah, I'll, I'll cut towards the game now, and let's see how we do in it. So I'm actually going to put the checklist in quickly, just so you guys can keep up to date throughout the episode. I'm going to try and get the checklist in, you know, every now and again on each episode. Uh, let me guys know your thoughts on that down below. But that's the team we have overall so far, 67 overall, so it's not great. But um, 
yeah, we're going into a game here. First ever game with the team. Hopefully we can kick it off with a win. So uh, we're coming up here against the Saints. Um, this is, I mean, I, I am post-commentating this one. I mean, I'll try and get some live comms for this, but I think post-commentating is a lot easier for me because I can focus on the commentary rather than focusing on the game, which I, I think that applies to a lot of people. But uh, yeah, we're starting off here. Didn't get anything on our on our first play, unfortunately. But you know, we're starting off here hoping to do well, and I totally clicked the wrong button, and he gets a pick. Which is probably the worst start we could have had to the series. Uh, I mean, it could have been the first play, but we managed to give the ball away in the second play. And he just managed to run it straight into the end zone. Because, I mean, he, he was, what, 11 yards out? So there was nothing I could do there to stop him. But, um, yeah, this was sort of a, a game of bad defending, I suppose you can, you can say that. Because, I mean, screen there just ran straight through. I mean, he, he dived for... I don't know why he dived with one of the players, but... Um, this uh, this guy here, unfortunately, isn't a Lions player because he turned out to be quite a little gem. Um, I'll run him back. He was definitely doing well the whole game. But, um, yeah, luckily, I evened the game up here. 7-0. Um, so, sort of even foot in, but we need to get a stop before the half. And uh, we've managed to get a lot of sacks in this game. I think when it comes towards the end, we managed to get four or five good sacks and put him back for a lot of yardage so he made him punt there so effectively we're back to the start of the game uh, it, it, nothing's happened so far I mean we've got the ball the first half first quarter even just is irrelevant so we're going to try and get a good drive going here hopefully we can build off our last drive because uh, one big play and we managed to get in but um yeah this was just a game of really bad defending like you'll you'll see here Clean open over the middle. Managed to get past one guy. Spin to the outside. I had all that room, and that's another. That's another. I think sixty plus yard touchdown, which isn't common for, <laughs> from my experience anyway. But um, I mean that puts us up at the end of the first quarter, which, in my eyes, considering the awful start we had, is good. So um, let's see what this guy can do on his next drive. So my guy here's probably feeling pretty hard done by. I've scored on, what, two big plays, which has got to be pretty annoying. Another big sack there. I think uh, I think that's the um, defensive tackle that we actually bought earlier on, the bronze guy. And he's just he's just getting around their line on every single play. Like every, pretty much every single play. Uh, his Tom Brady is getting under pressure just because our D lineman is absolutely all over it. But, uh, yeah, second and 18. You know he's going to go for a big play. So he went pretty deep. I thought I had him there, but he just shrugged that off. I mean, I think that's AJ Green, who, like I've said in previous videos, absolutely incredible in this game. And he's getting a bit cocky there, which, to be honest, that did annoy me. So um, I started up in my game a bit from here. Like I thought, since it's, you know, the lowest division, it's my first ever game, I'm going to come up against someone with a pretty similar team. And they're probably going to be new. So, uh, yeah, another one pass. I was taunting him back, you know, that. That definitely unnerves people in this game. So if you taunt them, they start to make stupid mistakes and just start making stupid plays. But uh, yeah, he managed to put another drive together. Fair play to him and good run there. I mean, he's abusing AJ Green and why should he not? I mean, <laughs> he's against a bronze corner. Abuse him. Makes sense too. But um, yeah, I was coming in here. I hadn't actually done much running in this game, so I knew he wasn't going to gamble on it. And that was clean, clean through. And I think that's... Uh, is that two touchdowns for the running back now with the the screen? I think it is. Two for the running back and two on big throw plays. But um, we're back up in the game. Needed that, to be honest, because I want to win the first game of the series to get it off to a good start. But um, yeah, pick, easy pick, pick there. He threw it straight to me, and there was n none of his players were really that near him, so it was quite a strange throw to make. But uh, yeah, he turned it over. We made another drive. A very slow drive this time, a lot of running. So uh, that isn't, one, isn't who I intended that for. But uh, that's one of the Lions players getting on the score sheet there. Getting uh, some points on the board for the actual Lions players. Loving that. But uh, yeah, I have to admit, I did get a little bit lucky there. But uh, as you can see here, he's third and ten. He's coming towards the end. He's going to have to get two scores to, you know, draw the game, just even draw the game level. And um, he managed to, <laughs> to get a good one there, to be honest. Well... Abusing AJ Green once again, and uh, I, I think 
that's probably going to be the hardest thing for me in this series is having bad corners. But that is how the game ended. 35-28, got a good good high-scoring game for the first game. I mean, I was ahead on every stat, but that was definitely a good high-scoring game to start with, which is, I'm sure, enjoyable for you lot to watch. But uh, I picked up one more player at the end because I think something I'm going to try and do is if we win a game or if we even play a game and get coins afterwards, try and pick up a player, to, you know, like I've said quite a few times now, keep the series moving continuously. But um, yeah, if you guys have enjoyed the video, drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, and comment any suggestions down below that I could do on the series, like uh, forfeits I could have if I lose a game, um, other things we could do if we, we win a game, you know, things like that. Any, anything I'm open to hear, because I mean, at the end of the day, this series is for the viewers. So um, yeah, I'm going to put a little checklist at the end just so you can see where we are, and I'll see you guys in the next video.